Hey everyone, welcome back to my Fashion How To Sunday. Um, this week is going to be all about the chambray shirt, and that can be considered a denim shirt, whatever you want to call it. Sorry, I'm trying to squat to get into the frame because my camera, this is as high as my tripod goes. Um, but the one I'm going to be featuring throughout the length of this video is this one, and it's a longer shirt. It's kind of nipped at the waist, but not really. I prefer more masculine cut to all my clothes. I don't really like the curved in at the waist. I'd rather do that myself with accessories, but this I got at Wet Seal. It was on sale like buy one get one for a penny, so I think I paid $13 for this and then whatever else I got, I think it was a cardigan for a penny. So that was a nice deal. I loved it, but I thought you couldn't really go wrong with the price. You can buy these anywhere and it's just the chambray shirt is a really good trend. Denim in general is a really good trend. The thing about the denim shirt, it's a lot softer than like jeans, so it's not going to be as hard or as rough as like denim shorts are. So it's really soft, at least it should be, and comfortable. And it's just an easy piece to have in your wardrobe. You can find it really inexpensive. Um, but enough about me blabbering about the shirt. Let's go ahead and get started with the looks. So something you can do to spice up an all black outfit is to play up with the southwestern feel of a denim shirt. So I'm gonna take the chambray shirt and throw it over just a basic tank top. This is from H&M, it's like a silky shirt. And then this skirt is from Urban Outfitters. It's just a nice swing skirt. And I created an all black outfit that is just spaghetti strap. And throwing this on, not only does it add a little bit of color, it adds some casualness to the outfit because nothing is really more casual than denim. So that's why I have it rolled up and everything. And then because to me denim kind of says Southwestern, especially the chambray shirt, you can play up the Southwestern vibe. So, you know, turquoise jewelry is always nice to wear with the denim shirt and feather accessories and metal. So that is look number one. Let's go ahead and move on to look number two. Okay, this next look is going to feature a maxi dress, and maxi dresses are just so versatile. I really recommend getting one. I prefer the simple black tank top maxi dresses because you can really dress them up or down, and obviously this is dressed down, but you can also throw on other things over it and dress it up with heels and whatnot. But with this look, I like to wear sandals, some flats, something chic and cute. Not flip-flops. I'm not a fan of flip-flops, um, as you may know, but I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can wear a chambray shirt over a maxi dress and this kind of shirt can go with patterned maxi dresses it can be other colors solid colors whatever you prefer um, this is just the one that I have so what I like to do is because the maxi dress isn't form-fitting it's just kind of straight line um, and the shirt is also not very form-fitting I like to emphasize a waist if I'm gonna wear a chambray shirt over this dress so one way to do that is to take the ends of the shirt given that they're long enough sometimes chambray shirts aren't most of the time though they're oversized and just kind of knot it, like so. You can tuck in the little thing if that bothers you. But anyway, that way it kind of emphasizes the waist and it makes you look slimmer in the middle. And I just think it looks really cute and casual and comfy. And you know, if it's on like a summer night or something, it still keeps you kind of warm, um, but it's not so overpowering. You can't wear it during a summer day. So that is one way. Another way is to take a belt. This one I got at Goodwill, it's just a brown leather belt and you can belt the look and belt everything together like so and this will also just emphasize a waist because you know it's a feminine part of your body and you want to make sure you have a waist because um, it's the smallest part of your body no matter what what size you are so that is another way to emphasize and that is the second look let's go ahead and move on to the third so denim on denim is a really hot trend for spring and summer. It's always been in trend, but it's really, really tricky to pull off. I still don't even think I can pull it off. It's not something I like to do very often. But a lot of celebrities have been doing it, and as long as you have the confidence to pull it off, I think anyone really can. Um, but I'm going to give you tips on how to mix denim with denim. Now, what I like to do is mix the colors. So if one's a dark wash denim, like the shirt, I mean it's a medium wash, and the shorts are a light wash, I think that can work. You don't want to do dark and dark, light and light, medium and medium, just because that can be too overpowering of a denim outfit. You want to mix up your denim so they look good. Another thing I like to do is mix up the texture. So if the shorts are shredded, I wouldn't tend to wear a shredded denim shirt. I don't really see very many of them anyway, but um, I don't like to keep the textures the same. So say the shirt is like this, no rips or tears or any kind of texture at all. I wouldn't want to do a solid short with them. I'd want to do something that keeps it interesting and not so muted. So that's what I would do is wear these shorts with it. And it also comes down to the accessories. You want to keep it simple because the outfit itself is going to be really simple. So you want to pair it with just a simple belt 
especially if you're tucking in the shirt, I really don't recommend wearing like an open chambray shirt with another pair of denim shorts or jeans or anything. I think it's more flattering when you tuck it in. And then just a silver cuff. And that's it. To keep it really simple, you just don't want to over-accessorize this kind of look. So that is the last look. I hope this was inspiring for most of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.